Students vaping THC at school has become so common, representatives for one county say they're finding these vapes at a, quote, alarming rate. This is Adam Mincer has details on what's happening in our schools and what's being done to stop it. It's a teenager's response to bad behavior that's been passed down for generations. That everybody does it. Sumner County's Director of Student Support says they've seen a surge in THC vapes at school, from 15 at the start of the year in 2022 to more than double in the same amount of time this year. We're seeing use all the time in the classroom, in the hallway, in their cars before they come into the building, in the bathrooms. Um, really, they will try to use them at any time that they think they can. Katie Brown says the consequences have been more than just students cutting class to vape. Schools have had to call EMS. The most acute thing that we're seeing is medical emergencies. Um, students are consuming more than they think they're consuming or they are using a new substance to themselves and they are having a medical uh, incident. Yet it's not hard for high school students to get their hands on a vape. Here's a picture a member of the school staff took after seeing a nearby gas station with a box of vapes on the floor. Each just $5. There are lots of vendors that are selling to minors, even though it's 21 and up, um, but they're also getting them from home um, or sharing them among their peers. To find a solution on Monday, Sumner County Schools are bringing together law enforcement, medical professionals, and school staff to educate parents and discuss ways to keep vapes out of kids' pockets. Nicotine and THC vapes are entirely different products than something they've known before. In Sumner County, Adam Mincer, News 2. THC vapes fall under Sumner County's zero tolerance policy, meaning students found with the THC products risk expulsion. The event for parents is Monday night at 6 o'clock. We have more details on our website at WKRN.com.